Hello, today I'll be showing you how to do random entities in Minecraft. So as you can see here at the moment, we just have the frog like we left off last time. But let's say for example, you, you wanted the rabbits as well. Like at the moment, you can only have the frog. So to do that, you have to do something slightly different. So at the moment, you just have the frog here and you save it, but you have this texture here. Now that will break in the game because we have to do something different. So if you try and do it without doing what I'm about to do, you'll just have it error like this. So to fix this, you need to edit this with notepad or something and just delete the texture. And that don't basically don't use the texture in the CEM folder because we don't need that for random entities, otherwise it wouldn't work at all. So for the random entities, the folder where you need to put them would be in Optifine, Random, Entity, and they all go here. So at the moment, I already have it in here because just to show you at the beginning. But this entity folder here that you put all the random entities in needs to be laid out exactly the same as the actual entities folder in the textures folder. If it isn't, they won't load correctly. So now let me explain how to structure this properly. As you can see here, this is the frog texture and it's called brown 2. This means that this is the first texture that it will use. It's called 2 because it's not brown 1 because that's the vanilla texture, the Minecraft texture. You need it 2 and then it goes 3, 4, 5, 6 from then on. You also want a brown.properties file, the same name as the rabbit texture. And one thing to make sure is if you have, you need to have file name extensions enabled because this, if you don't, you'll end up just naming this brown.properties.txt and then it won't work. So inside your properties file, let me bring this over. This is for randomness here. Skins.2 is recommended to use as the first one. Don't use one, I don't know why, but it's just recommended. So you do skins.2 and then you specify which files you want it to use. So one is the vanilla one, as I said earlier, and two is this one here. So it, for this skins.2 thing, it's gonna use these two textures. And then the weight is the percentage chance with, that it does it. So you do weights dot two, so it links it with these two skins. And then this is a ratio of what they would be. So at the moment I have three on the one and a one on the two, which means that it's a 75% chance it would be the vanilla texture and a 25% chance it would be the second rab this rabbit texture, the frog. You can see that at the moment in game. Let me just reload the pack again. You can see that in game, if I spawn a couple rabbits in, it's only a 25% chance that it would actually be frogs. As you can probably tell, the rabbits look a bit strange because they're using the frog model and they don't have the ears or anything. Now there is no way to like properly fix this. There's a cheat where you can do it with textures, but there's no way to actually randomize models. You have to do it all in the same model. It's fairly simple to do, so I'll explain that now. So, we also need the vanilla rabbit texture then, which is here. So let's copy paste that into here and call it brown three. So then we have those two there. In this file here again, we can now change this from, we don't want to use a vanilla one anymore, because that was that's the broken one. We have to use two and three. So now 2 will be a 75% chance to get the frog and it will be a 25% chance to get the normal rabbit. So now we need to edit the model because at the moment it will still be broken. There's no model for the ears or nose or anything. So if we go back to the model, which is in the CEM folder and open it. I have two open now. There we go. Okay, this is our model. As you can see, there aren't any ears. If I add in the rabbit texture, which is in here, the actual rabbit texture. We need to now fix this. And we can do that by just adding back in the parts that we removed before, like this, and then removing all the stuff we don't need. We don't need those, or those, or those. We just need the ears, the head, and the nose. So the ears, the head, and the nose, and, no, and the tail, we need tail as well. 
but as these folders are duplicated here we can't have duplicated folders otherwise it won't load in game either and also we need to combine the stuff because at the moment there's two head folders we need to put this one into go in we need to put it in there just to control x control v because it wasn't dragging for some reason and as you can see now our rabbit is looking a bit more rabbit like at the moment this won't work in game because the heads of both are in the same place this means that the head of the frog and the head of the rabbit will show at the exact same time and you don't want that this is fairly easy to fix you just go on the frog head which is this one here and you change the positioning of the texture there's an empty spot here so let's put it there and then we can save that that's the only thing that overlaps if I remember correctly so save that no delete the texture first then save it as you can you can now see like all the other parts of the frog because it's te untextured now we need to go and edit the rabbit texture no the, the frog texture because we moved its positioning so the head of the frog which is this bit here is now located down here let me just check that I need to have the texture to be able to tell it's now located one pixel above there we go so then it needs to go up by one and then we can save that and now if we go back and change the file to this one you should see that it perfectly switches you have the eyes and the head and the the toes but when you change back to this one they disappear and you get the rabbit bits instead it's all one model but it, it just works now if we make it load as the broken texture you will you'll be able to see what is happening here you can see that the ears and the eyes are visible at the same time because it's all untextured but when we have our random texture because part of it is untextured and you can use transparency on the textures where there's like no texture there you can now see we have the ears and nose on the rabbit and the eyes and proper head on the frog just like that so there you go that is how you do the random entities and random models in minecraft goodbye